How do F1 drivers see in the rain? Oh yes, we're talking about our beloved rainy conditions in an F1 race today and how an F1 driver manages to drive and to an unbelievably high standard, may I add, in the pouring rain. Now firstly, are we all okay when we hear about rain potentially coming for an F1 session or are we completely scarred by what we saw at the Belgian Grand Prix this year? Of course, I am joking to a degree as that was a highly unlikely event what we saw, but it still makes me a little nervous when I hear the forecasts now. Right, let's put ourselves in that position of being an F1 driver. I mean, who doesn't dream of driving in an F1 race every single day of their lives? How on earth are we meant to see, let alone drive, in the pouring rain with 19 other F1 cars around us? In short, it's very, very difficult. You kind of don't see anything, unless you're the leader of the pack and only have to negotiate with the actual rain falling from the sky. That's the dream position. I love it when you hear from the leader on the team radio when there's rainy conditions. Take Max Verstappen for example, when he came over the radio in Belgium 2021 saying it's not too bad. Yes mate, it's not too bad for you, as you don't have tidal waves hitting you every second from cars ahead. Fun fact, the full wet tyre can move around 85 litres of water per second at 300 kilometres an hour. That is a lot of water. So of course, naturally, a lot of that is going to be going on you as the car behind and be affecting your vision. Sorry guys, very quick interruption to say please subscribe to this beautiful WTF1 YouTube channel. This F1 season is going down to the absolute wire and my entire body is ready for it. Also, 1 million subscribers is only just around the corner. Love ya. If you're one of those unlucky ones from P2 all the way down to P20, you have to deal with the person in front of you kicking up massive amounts of spray. The level of spray varies as to, you guessed it, how hard it's been raining and how much standing water there is. One thing that can help to give you some sort of sporadic vision is the airflow itself. Travelling at 300 km an hour can really help to move the water on your visor very quickly, as well as the chemicals on your helmet to make the droplets disperse like water off a duck's back. In light to medium rain, the visor tear-offs can be a massive help too as that can allow for brief moments of clear vision until Mother Nature greets you with another load of moisture. Generally speaking though, if you're not following any cars and it's light to medium rain, you won't be complaining at all about lack of vision. Heavy rain though, that's a different story. There's no surprise that a lot of these kind of races in Formula 1 get red flagged when there's too much standing water. It is simply too dangerous. Not only is there aquaplaning, where the car sits on top of a layer of water and has no contact patch with the racetrack and therefore loses all grip, but also the lack of vision. The drivers have to rely on their senses a lot of the time and it's like you're driving blindfolded. In bad conditions, the drivers struggle to even see the red light on the back of the car ahead, which is supposed to be used as a safety reference. So you can imagine how easily a crash into another competitor could happen if races were never red flagged. When watching a wet race and two drivers battling, you'll more than often see a driver pull out from directly behind a driver in order to not suffer so badly from the spray and maybe, just maybe, see the track they're racing on. How crazy is all of this though? It just shows how fearless these drivers are when all I can think about is how petrified I'd be in that situation. There you have it, an insight into how F1 drivers see or don't see in the pouring rain. How do you think you'd cope in those conditions as an F1 driver? Let us know in the comments section below.